Ricky, I called him, and I thought I heard him crying after you had already told him you were leaving. I almost thought that Donnie was crying. He said, I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him so much. I'm going to miss him so much. I want his office. <laughs> and then I called some of your other friends, Ricky. Called your good friend, Senator Sullivan. He was very sad that you were leaving. He was so sad. He said, you know, Ricky's a majority leader, isn't he? I said, yes, he is. He said, there'd be an opening for that, wouldn't there? I said, yes, yes, there would be. And then I called uh, Senator Hunter. Senator Hunter. She said, Ricky's leaving? We have a love-hate relationship, but I'm really sorry he's leaving. And she said, I'm so sad that he's leaving. Now, can I have his office? I said, no, Trotter's already got that. Can I have his leadership position? I said, no, Sullivan's already got that. Well, what about Sullivan's leadership position? <laughs> and then I called Toy. God, is she sad. Toy was so sad. She's, she's around here somewhere within the... She's, there she is. She was so sad. So sad. She said, well, what's going to happen to that leadership position? And I said, well, you know, Sullivan's going to get it. She said, well, he's the chairman of a committee. I said, well, yeah, we're going to have to find a new chairman of a committee. She goes, that would be me, wouldn't it? And I said, yes, yes, that would be you. But I'm so sad he's leaving. Your buddy Katowski. I called Katowski. Ricky's leaving. Oh, my God, it was just so sad. He said, well, what's going to happen with all those other positions? <laughs> I said, well, I think Sullivan's going to be a leader. Well, what about the appropriation committee? Even Maggie Crotty. She was almost in tears because she knew she said he did such a good job on that executive committee. Somebody's going to have to take his place on the executive <laughs> committee. And Ricky, be honest with you, I didn't realize that the rest of the members of the caucus knew how much stuff you got in that capital bill for the West Side. I didn't know. I thought we you know, kind of snuck that in. So it turns out that I understand that your replacement is coming next Monday. And we're doing a reappropriation of the Capitol bill tomorrow <laughs> before he or she gets here. So uh, I'm sorry you're leaving, too. Uh, you know, there's so many, uh, obviously, great and funny and g colorful stories about Ricky. But I, I, I really do want to be serious and, and, uh, and be quick. Uh, first of all, Ricky, I really want to say to you publicly how much I really appreciate your support for me. And I, I want to say that in front of everyone here. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, the people, I, I don't know, I've been here now the longest, 20 years in the Senate, 12 years in the House. I don't think, I can think of very many senators, or any right now, that knew their district as well as you did and fought for their district as well as you did. Just so dedicated to the, to the West Side and the people you represent. I also know that people would read some of your more colorful comments. They'd form their own opinions of you up in the Chicago media, not knowing what you were really like, and not appreciating, and I would surprise people when I tell this, this guy is a brilliant politician. He is a really, really smart politician and knows how to put coalitions together, knows how to inspire people to work. I want to also mention, for those of us who have served here, when you were in that chair, as Senator Hayne talked about, again, 12 years in the House, 20 in the Senate, I don't think, I can think of anybody that's done as good a job as presiding in a fair way and in a quick way, as uh, Senator Hayne said. Now, we do have Senator Sullivan, who's going to be in the chair at some point, uh, and he is an auctioneer. So he may come close to you towards the end, but we'll, we'll find out. 